What's up, everybody? It is Miranda Evans, your favorite unfiltered motivator, and you are here for episode two of Motivation with Me. So today we're going to talk about self-confidence. It is May. It is our month of all about self. So we're going to talk about self-confidence today. Last week we talked about self-love. This week we're going to talk about self-confidence. Next week we're going to talk about self-care. So we're being selfish in the month of May and we are focusing on ourselves. What better way to start off this YouTube channel than to get ourselves right first? And then we can move on to a little bit more juicy stuff. Um, Self-confidence by definition is a feeling of trust in one's abilities, qualities, and judgment. So it is your ability to trust your judgment, to know your qualities and believe in them, and know that you are able to do anything that you set your mind to. That is your abilities, starting with what your talents are and what you are able to see yourself doing. And even if sometimes we get a blockage to where we can't see our vision, but it's there. We just have to tap into ourselves and we have to find our gifts and our talents and what God gave us. And then once we discover that, we can have our courage and confidence to get us there. So I wanted to start, you guys know I love me a good quote. So a good quote from my phenomenal, phenomenal Maya Angelou, may she rest peacefully. If one has courage, nothing can dim the light which shines from within. That came from Rainbow in the Cloud. So this is my book recommendation for the week, The Wisdom and Spirit of Maya Angelou. It is really, really good. It has some really good quotes in it based on different topics. So I like it because, I, first of all, I love Maya Angelou, so I love anything Maya Angelou. But I like it because it has memorable quotes, and she talks a little bit. It's really short. It's relatively fast. You can literally read it in maybe like 30 minutes. Um, and it has different topics, so black identity, spirituality, culture, she breaks it down into different topics. So that is our quote for today, and that is my book recommendation for the week. So I hope you guys did your homework last time. Yeah, you thought I forgot? No, I didn't forget. And wrote down all the things you love about yourself, maybe did your ABCs, and writing a positive word for every letter in the alphabet that describes you. So, like I said, drop in the comments um, what you love about yourself and what you want to hear more on this YouTube channel. But I really want you to do the activities that I'm telling you to do or that I'm giving you to do, your homework, basically, because it's not for me, it's for you. And once you do those activities and implement them and practice and continue to be dedicated towards improving yourself, then you'll see the change. I promise you. I'm literally doing worksheets and activity books and all kinds of things all the time. Another book recommendation I have is, uh, which is where I got the ABC thing is, I want to say I said this on the last video, is Craft a Life You Love by Amy Tangerine. This one is a really good book. Um, and it has a lot of activities in it. I like it because it's fun, it's colorful. And I like the uh, the ideas that she came up with. So also, before I get into confidence, I want to stop here for a second and give you a clip or show you a clip of a lovely, beautiful song called Love Yourself by Brittany Balmer. She's one of uh, the ladies that I met recently at a retreat, and she has the most beautiful voice ever. So we're going to stop for a second, and I want you to listen to this clip and I'm also going to put where you can download her song. It's available on all music streaming and where you can watch the full video on YouTube. Believe the signs when they show Cause love will get heavy If someone's not ready His hearts will be broken Your faith will be tested So keep on investing in you And pain's not love It requires much more than the eye can see what I truly mean is that you gotta love yourself before you love someone else. There's so much value in who you are. Baby girl, you should know it's okay to take your time. And baby boy, you gotta take it slow. You don't have to live a lie. Until you truly learn to love yourself, you truly learn 
Wasn't that beautiful? Let's just give a, a round of applause for that. That was just, oh, I love her voice. It is amazing. I literally play that song every day, probably more than once a day, because it just really touches me. And the words that she's saying is so true. You have to learn to love yourself. First, we talked about this in the last video last week. So that is a clip from Brittany Bama love yourself please make sure you guys download that listen to it watch the video it's phenomenal like i said i listen to it every day so um i want to go on with um a scripture proverbs 31 25 says strength and honor are her clothing she shall rejoice in time to come strength and honor strength and honor she shall rejoice in the time to come now the way I see that is, see, I'm the type of person that rejoices before it comes, when it comes, after it comes. Literally, I, I'm i praising because I know that God is going to make it happen. So I rejoice before, during, and after. Because if I rejoice before, I know it's coming when it comes. I'm not surprised because that's how God does it. And I knew he was going to come through. So I rejoice in it and make sure I thank him and I'm grateful for all the things that I have. And I continue to rejoice afterwards. So she shall rejoice in the time to come. But the way to get to that is to have confidence and courage to reach your goals and to actually step out on faith and do it. Like I said, just do it. Shout out to Nike. So you literally have to walk into every room. I say this all the time. Walk into every room like you own it. You know, to, especially to my black women. Walk into the room like you own it. So this is, you know, it's not women, men in general, but especially women. We have to hold our head high and we have to walk in with that confidence. I actually posted a clip on Instagram not too long ago a little short video about how we can use our womanhood the right way to get where we need to go and to be confident in ourselves that we're capable to do anything that we set our minds to whatever your visions are whatever your goals are whatever your dreams are you have to have that confidence to reach them and my goal is to give you that push and tell you sis brother you can do it have confidence in yourself believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself nobody else is going to believe in you like i said when i started this youtube channel i didn't know what to expect i didn't know what to do i've never done a youtube channel i've done youtube videos but to actually have a consistent <clears throat> excuse me youtube channel it was it's difficult and you know this is just the beginning so it's going to continue to be difficult it's just another thing that i've added to my plate but i feel like it needs to be done because people need to hear this motivation and people need to be filled with encouragement and learn something from my experiences of what i'm sharing with you so i had to step out finally and build that confidence to say hey i can do this i can do this youtube channel so whatever your dream is whatever your goal is you can do this you have confidence in yourself so homework time before i go to the clip um that i posted on instagram because i want to add that in so you guys can see that as well your homework is dun, 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 dun. write down in the comments what it is that you want to do but you're afraid to do it what it what is it that you need confidence in whether it's your body image, whether it's your faith, whether it's your the next move you want to make, building that, starting that business, building that nonprofit, whatever it is that you need confidence in or to step out on or you need faith in, please drop that below in the comments. You know, let's not be shy. We're all family here. We're all friends. Like I said, I only do positive energy. So please drop it in the comments. I will respond to it, give you my feedback on it continue to push you and make sure that you have that confidence within yourself. So we're going to pause for a second and I'm going to show the clip that I posted on Instagram um, maybe a few months ago. I think the one thing women have to learn or should learn about being businesswomen and 
getting things done and accomplishing things is to use their womanhood use what you have you have the power to do so much and to get so many things that you want you just have to know how to use it and the first step to that is confidence you have to have confidence like let's take for example community coffee gave us extra donations shout out to joe hill at community coffee but joe hooked us up with extra donations because he checked out our website you know and i talked to him i smiled with him we talked about giving back to the community like these are things that i that women can do without having to flirt or be sexual you have to have confidence in yourself you have to walk into every room like you own it i do it all the time no matter what i'm going through I still have to walk like I got this. Confidence is key, ladies. Okay, so like I said in the video, confidence is key. You walk into the room like you own it. And once you build your confidence and the more that you accomplish, the more confidence that you have in yourself and your ability to reach your goals. So I know one of my problems or one of my issues was my ball spots. So, since I was born, I have alopecia. So, and you can't see because I have my hair wrapped on over this weave. So, yeah, I can't show you. But uh, I'll throw a picture in there so you can see. But I have had alopecia my whole life. Been bald my whole life. I don't have no hair on the side. They used to tease me when I was in school. Call me bald head, scallywag, and you ain't got no hair on the side. You ain't got no hair on the side. But I always had really long hair. I just didn't have any hair on the side. And my mom would put these plaits in my head to where my bald spots were showing. And I'm just like, why are you doing this to me? Like, I hated it. I just hated it because I didn't have any hair on the side and it wasn't fair. Like everybody else has a full head of hair and I don't have that. And even in my adulthood, I learned to be okay with it. I learned to accept it for what it was. You know, I've tried every remedy and I appreciate everybody giving me every remedy. I've tried everything under the sun. I've had steroid shots. I've been to the dermatologist. I've, I've tried every ointment, cream, uh, oil, Every Rogaine, I've tried everything. I've even consulted for hair transplant surgery, but the the doctor told me that I have dead hair follicles. So even if I was to get transplant surgery, my hair would just fall back out over time. So I just said, forget it. And I would wear like things like this or like a headband. Like if I put my hair in a ponytail, I always had headbands on. You never saw my bald spots in public. Most people didn't even know I was bald until a few months ago, I want to say like last in December, I said, you know what? And I, I did a whole video about this on Instagram. I'm going to wear my ball spots out. I had braids and I wanted to put them up in a ponytail. And I said, I'm going to go. And it was a gal I went to. So I'm going to go to this event, this fancy event with my dress on with um, my ball spots out. That's, I'm just going to do it. This is this was my first time going out in public with my ball spots actually showing. And I was just so focused on the fact that my ball spots were out. It's like I was paying attention to the event, but at the same time, it's like, oh, my ball spots are out. Like, you know, I'm a little, it's a little cold. Are people looking like, you know, I just felt exposed. I felt really exposed. But Later on in the night, I just started to embrace it. And I just was taking pictures and the photographer was taking pictures of me. And those were actually some of my best pictures. And it just made me happy because now I wear my ball spots out all the time. You know, I don't cover them up anymore um, unless I just really want to for style or fashion. But it's not a necessity. It's like now I can put my hair in a ponytail with my ball spots out and go to work, go to the store, go to events. It doesn't bother me anymore. And it took 26 years to get there. Um, like I said, I've been bald all my life. But I finally had that confidence. And I was like, you know what? I'm beautiful either way. And I'm still the woman I am either way, regardless, ball spots or not. So that was my self-confidence moment. And that was probably the most, that's probably what's been holding me back all these years. Because I always felt like it was a flaw. And then I learned to embrace it. And then I became confident enough to wear it out in public. So that was my big self-confidence test and lesson. Um, as far as my goals, I've never 
really been afraid to do anything. I've always believed in the whole do it afraid thing because if you wait until you're not afraid anymore or until fear is gone, you're not going to do it because you're going to always be afraid. You're going to always experience fear. You're going to always experience anxiety like what if this happens? What if it doesn't work? What if it fails? Failure is a part of life. If it fails, try it again. Make some changes. Start over. Doesn't matter. We're, uh, we're all going to fail at some point. I failed multiple times and I still didn't give up. Failure does not mean give up. It's when you give up is when it becomes a problem. And then those are the types of things that you regret. Failure, that's a part of the process. So expect it, embrace it, learn from it, and keep pushing. Keep building and keep gaining the courage to step out and just do it. It's all about confidence. Brothers and sisters, you can accomplish so many things if you just believe in your ability to do it. If you believe in the qualities that you have as a human being and as a person, okay? You have qualities and talents and gifts. See, if we replace all the negativity in the world with positivity and positive gifts and positive qualities and positive abilities and positive energy, then we would have less crime. We would have a better generation. We would know how to raise our young people and build them up and, and enrich them and uplift them. Like I said, that's what I do with the trouble movement. I create positive. I continuously push positivity into their lives because they need to know that they're capable of doing anything that they set their minds to. And they're impressionable. They're at an impressionable age. So the things that I tell them now that they learn now or hear now, that's going to stick with them. So I try to push confidence as much as I can. I try to push positivity as much as I can. And I'm pushing it here to you today. Whatever it is, you can do it. You can do it, sis. You got it. Because, see, look, I'm struggling with this weave. I'm telling y'all right now. That's why I was wrapped up because I didn't want to do my edges. Just thought I'd throw that in there. You know, didn't didn't feel like doing my edges today. So I should have got on here. Just forget it. Just, you know, whatever. But I ain't going to do y'all like that because I'm a little rough around here. But any other time, I am very confident and I just come as is. We're all unfiltered, uncut, and real because that's how I do it. So, I'm lighting fire under your ass today because I want to give you confidence. I don't know how many times I got to repeat myself. I can continuously repeat myself until you understand and until it gets in your head and you learn to get it. Okay? So, next month is... Drum roll. My drum roll. Love, sex, and relationships. Who is ready for June? Mm, mm, mm. I know I am. But until then, episode three will be about self-care and we will have a guest, Marie Crawford with Session Boutique, our first guest on the show. So let's welcome her with love. She is going to be in episode three in our next episode on self-care. She's going to give us some self-care tips. She's my stylist and she's wonderful. If you've seen my gala dress and my gala ensemble, then you know. So her check out Session Boutique at shopsessionboutique.com. And she has a wonderful collection. She's a wonderful stylist. And she's just a wonderful human being. Her energy is so positive. She's so uplifting and empowering and encouraging. I love her. I absolutely, absolutely love my sister Marie. So we're going to welcome her next week. Okay. The episode will be coming out on May 29th. Okay, because it's Tuesday. This one is coming out on Tuesday. So that one will be coming out on Wednesday, May 29th. So be ready for that one. And again, make sure you guys follow me on social media. Make some comments. Subscribe. Click that subscribe button below and drop comments. Let me know what, what you want to you know, it's viewer's choice around here. I can talk about just about anything. So give me suggestions. I have people on Instagram that are sending me ideas and sending me suggestions, things they want to hear about. Next month is really going to be good because we're going to get into love, relationships, sex, celibacy. I got all the tea, honey. All of the tea, all of the good words and whatever it is, stories, everything. So make sure you guys continue to tune in. Like I said, hit that subscribe button. Follow me on social media at, e I'm having a hard time. <laughs> Follow me on social media at Elements of Me. My social media information is also down below. You can check me out, follow me, friend me, 
all these types of things. Now, if I don't follow you back, I'm sorry. It, don't take it personal. I'm just really bad with social media. But I'm trying to get better. I'm doing better, guys. I, I got this. You know, I'm a little old school. So, I, it's it's working. My kids are helping me out. they like, come on, Miss Miranda. You got to get it together. So, stay tuned for the next episode. And I will see you guys next week. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. And it's Testimony Tuesday. That's my hashtag for the Testimony Tuesday. I love it. Um, have confidence. Be happy. And again, this is your favorite unfiltered motivator, Miranda Evans. And you have just tuned in to episode two of Motivation With Me.